hello friends in this program i would like to discuss what is the difference between formal grammar and functional grammar formal grammar is also called traditional grammar it is also called the prescriptive grammar and sometimes it is called theoretical grammar and functional grammar is a new trend of teaching english language so let us try to understand the first what is a formal grammar formal grammar grammar that uh, we know rules are given first theory is given first and students are forced to prepare rules a set of rules and then according the rules students are forced to make sentences so the problem is that students mind is stuck to the rules only and before he or she speaks rules are in front of their mind and thoughts are later rules are first and thoughts are later so there is a delay of expressing there is a delay of communication and that's why this type of teaching and learning fell to produce the power of speech students are taught the rules and regulation they are not uh, forced to speak even if they are forced to speak but there is a hurdle of thinking about rules learners think rules first and thoughts are in the second so the main drawback of this type of learning and teaching english grammar is that there is a, a rare communicative power students can read and write students can understand english language but as far as speech is concerned students are not able to uh, speak well because students think only about the rules and regulation now the second trend that is called the modern trend of teaching english language is that of function grammar or functional grammar now see function that means work there are so many words in english language and they have got special function they have not got they have not got this special meaning but special function for example determiners that means articles conjunctions then prepositions pronouns auxiliary verbs models qualifiers and question words all these are functional words and rest of the words nouns adjectives adverbs and main verbs are contained words in english language we use only and only one or two percentage of the functional words and still they are very important without the usage of all these two percent percentage of the words 
communication cannot be done well 60% words that we use are contained words and 40% of the words that we use are related to our functional words so if we know about functional words then we need not know the rules so in this method rules are not given first examples are given and out of the example students are learners are forced to find out the rule and that's why nowadays the function grammar is going to be very popular among learners it is very easy way to develop the communicative power and more and more oral practices are given more and more sentences are given and out of the sentences they are forced to find out the rules so it will be a habitual it be a what we call it the routine of the of this learners to speak just like a child we never tell when we, we we do not teach our mother tongue to our children just the listen listen and listen the repetition of listening makes child to speak like that in this new type type of learning of a functional grammar is that students are free students are given liberty to speak anyhow and gradually listening when there is much listening then learners can speak so it's a rule it's a it's a natural rule much listening it will come out as a as your speech or speaking when there is a input of listening and output output will be of the speaking in old method students read and read and after reading the what what was the output of that reading then writing so language is successful when one can speak it so the main difference between functional grammar and traditional grammar is that in functional grammar rules are not taught but learners are told to find out the rules whereas in traditional grammar learners are forced to mug up forced to prepare rules first and then according the rules learners make different sentences thank you